editing. Why would you call? No, I was just no, I just got finished, man. Won't you chill? Why? What? Why, why are you tripping, man? Like, what do you need? What, why are you in such a hurry? What's going I on? I already told you. I already told you. Are you on tape delay? Now did you I, fast? I guess. I mean, you fast forward. You're fussy today. <laughs> you're fussy today. You're fussy today. And I guess, I don't know. So, why you look so angry when we get such a dope acquisition, bruh? When who got a dope acquisition? Oh, my God. Are you going to play like nothing happened today? No, you make it sound as if I, I work for Xbox and I've got stocks in Xbox and I'm going to directly benefit from this acquisition. Are you not going to? I mean, what? Why would you pay for Good. Game Pass if you don't think you're going to directly benefit from stuff like this? I start. It's not really much of a big deal for me personally, because even if you check on all the games I've ever played, like if you've played Activision games, go and check like the achievement points. Compare mine and yours. I I have barely touched any uh, COD games since like 2008. Or seven. As for the rest of the games, not really my thing. Like WoW was cool for like two years, in my opinion. And then I dropped it. Diablo, I never really got into it. Candy Crush, I think I'm on level 500 or something. And then I dropped it as well. I don't know, man. Like For me personally, this is not going to affect uh, my my uh, loyalty or enjoyment of Game Pass. Well, anyways, welcome to anybody that happens to watch this. This is Loke's kind of hot take. My hot take on it what? is I think this is absolutely dope. I'm really excited. I am really excited for this. I cannot believe you're recording right now. <laughs> yes, I am, sucker. You ever heard of consent? <laughs> no, no wonder you Americans have this issue going on in your country. What the hell, man? Oh, man, got to keep it authentic. I'm not even dressed for this. Oh, man, you're drunk. I mean, we can all tell you're drunk by your answer. I mean, that is wild. I'm not drunk. I'm drinking water. Actually, I'm finishing. I'm finishing my bottle. Yeah, it's vodka. Lord. Oh, okay. Crash, Crash Bandicoot is, is yes, Activision. Man. So that. Oh, yeah. My kids are going to enjoy that one. Absolutely. I think uh, that's going to be cool. My, my, my four year old's going to absolutely love that game. I'm really excited. DJ to try that out. Again, and hopefully they kind of bring it back as like a mascot. Let's get CTR going again, except bring more characters in from other things. The hell is CTR? Crash Team Racing. Yuck! No Mario. Don't. Mario's better. Oh, whatever, man. Mar whatever. Mario's. What a tip. You know. Answer. You know from somebody that doesn't play very many cart games, he's just gonna say, <laughs> "He's just gonna say, oh yeah, the one that everybody knows is better." <laughs> That's why everybody knows it. Anyway, uh, King's Quest is is here, so that's that's a nice plus. I I like King's Quest. I didn't know that. Once you list off some Ooh. of the games, once you list off some of the games like back to back. All right, uh, let's start from the top. Blur, ever heard of that? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, Caesar, ever heard of that? Um, no. Call of Duty, this is a really indie game. No one's ever heard of this one. You know, it's really underground. It's niche. You know, uh, let's skip niche, Call of niche. Duty. Yeah, Candy Crush, even more niche. Yeah, like, niche, 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 niche. They make like zero, zero profit from this game. No, never. No. We already did Crash, uh, Diablo. What is uh, Diablo? That's a Diablo is uh, 
That sounds evil. <laughs> you you wait. You don't know. You don't know what Diablo is. No, I don't. What is that? No, I'm just kidding, man. Obviously, I know what Diablo is. Diablo okay, fuck. Yada yada yada. Oh, I was about to turn this off. <laughs> Diablo, Diablo's good. Uh, DJ Hero. I'm guessing it's like Guitar Hero. I'm yeah, guessing. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. Like, I'm not really like, like, like I, I feel like Guitar Hero is going to be coming back for like a man. As a person that works at a vintage store, I see people come in all the time looking for guitars. And looking for Guitar Hero games. So I feel like that's going to make a comeback this generation at some point. But we'll see. Nope. It'll be interesting. Nope. You know what would be dope is is what? that with the Oculus. If they made an Oculus VR kind Ooh. of. Stage. Yeah. Just yeah. What the friends and okay. Okay. I right. might buy I might. I might buy that. You know what I'm might. saying? Like that would be fine. I'm a fan of VR. I'm not even a fan of VR, but I would get on just for that. That that's, that sounds like fun. Right. Sounds like a lot. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Empire Earth. Ever heard of that? Yeah, actually, I have, <laughs> I, I, I have heard of it, but not a fan of it. What do you do in it? I'm pretty sure it's an RTS game. Right. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to point out. A lot of these games are RTS. Yeah. Whole lot of them. Um, Gabriel Knight. That's great for PC gamers, though, because PC gamers are going to love. I mean, Activision Blizzard is already big on PC. So, like, bringing more RTS games, wow, obviously, even though it's been pissing people off a lot lately. Um, but, like, giving it to somebody else to deal with, I just feel like that might make a lot of people happy, or it's like, Finally, it's not like they're not doing d dealing with it or they're not the ones holding all the cash. It's somebody that yeah. we could possibly give another chance to. Not saying that they're going to do fantastic, but just saying that, hey, we're, our, our ears are open now because we were walking away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we're willing to listen. Um, next up, we have Gabriel Knight. Ever heard of that? No. Okay. I mean, there's going to be a ton of games from, especially a big, a, especially a big publisher. There's going to be a ton of games that you just don't know. I mean, that's yeah. just kind of and also, what it is. Also, back to your point about PC gamers, it's been a, a bit of a, a meme that uh, Game Pass on PC is mediocre con con uh, com compared to Game Pass on console. So a whole bunch of RTS games that were like uh, RTS and first person games that were like designed for PC gaming or, or work best on PC gaming is going to be a big plus. I think Xbox. a lot of people I think a lot of people overshadow this acquisition with Xbox as a console, but this is a big deal for not just the console but definitely for PC and also mobile. This is a yeah. massive push for mobile as well because it's like you got to have like developers around that know what the hell they're doing with mobile separately. We've seen what happened with GTA recently. It was excellent on mobile, but once they used the yeah. mobile port for console, it was trash. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity in so many different directions, more directions than I mean, I just listed off a few, but that's probably not even a good chunk. As long as they use their heads, this could, this could go well. Uh, next, we have Geometry Wars. <laughs> that sounds like a game I'd never want to play. <laughs> Can you see my face right now? That sounds awful. Um, but, I mean, maybe it's for, you know, people in school. I could see somebody. Uh, I doubt it, though. No, nah, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. Next. Okay. Next, <laughs> Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. I mean, yeah, obviously, I, I... that's a big deal. Yeah. Uh Gun. Never heard of this one. Yeah, I heard of that. That's an older game. Oh. Hey man. You know it's taboo. It's I'm taboo sure. to say something nice about all the games. I'm pretty sure you that, know? I'm pretty sure that game was for the original Xbox. I 
don't damn remember. like like that's what i'm saying that's that's an older game that's almost ancient Oof. i got a lot of ancient shit behind me still love like like pre-achievement time you know yeah, that's how I, how i i grade how old the game is does it have achievements or trophies no one is like damn it's like really old <laughs> Like y'all play this for fun, just for fun. That's yeah. popping on the screen. Wow. Yeah, CRT. Okay. Next is Hearthstone. This is a big game, but definitely PC focused. It's the one uh, with the cards and uh, turn based. I, I wouldn't know. Not in my. Uh, it's if, if I'm not mistaken, it's the one that uh, had the situation with Blitz Chung, where he'd said something about free Hong Kong when he won the tournament, and then he got kicked off, and then the host got kicked off, and then the, the U.S. Uh, parliament got involved, and because China was influencing Activision, and yeah, so it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty big game. Next is Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, I heard about this one, but it failed. Pretty much like an Overwatch clone. Oh, was that it did. that game? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, that. I, w w was it the game that came out right before Overwatch came out and fell off, and then Overwatch kind of took the reins and just ran with it? Because oh, there if was I remember, a similar game to Overwatch that took off right before Overwatch did. I don't think it was Paladins. Might have been, but I don't think so. Um, but yeah, it took off, and then once Overwatch came in, it was like it put its foot down, and yeah, maybe I'm wrong. all of its people. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I if I remember the sequence correct, Heroes of the Storm was trying to ape Overwatch, and Overwatch just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then Dude, people Overwatch just abandoned killed it. Killed a lot of games, man. But that's how it happens, man. I mean. You see the Fortnite and PUBG kind of craze. I mean, it's it's no different than that kind of... I mean, it's a different genre, obviously, but it's no different than a bunch of people coming together to make a similar game. I mean, you've seen it happen to Zelda even with um, Breath of the Wild with uh, like Phoenix Rising and stuff like that and Genshin Impact and... I mean, yeah, there's, a, yeah. there's a lot of similar games to even that. And those are all, that's crazy. What's crazy is all of those stood on their own feet, though. Like, it's crazy yeah. that there are, there, there's, there's plenty of room for gaming for all games, but the people will let you know if your shit's trash. <laughs> They're just like, I ain't fucking with yes. this anymore. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Well, now that you brought it up, Overwatch is also part of this. It's yep. part of a part of Activision Blizzard. Big deal. So, and that game's about to be coming out too. So, like, it needs good. It needs good publicity because it's been awful for Activision Blizzard as of lately. So, this is like the kind of news that makes you. Because I actually did a stream, or not a stream, but a a show with Diana, Miss Deus Geek, and I was talking to her about um overwatch because she's in uh because she said she really liked playing that game in the past and i was like are you excited for the new one and she's like i want to be excited but under the leadership i just don't want to support that and i'm wondering like how she feels now i'm gonna have to reach out to her and ask her hey how you feel how you feeling about activision blizzard at this point <laughs> are you predicting People won't be genuine about their feelings of Activision because of how they're attached to Xbox. I feel like a lot of things are going to change with, like, just... I mean, I already heard today on, on a few different channels, there are pink slips being tossed around at Activision right now. People are getting fired. People are getting kicked out. Pack your things. Time to go. I actually made a little meme, or not really a meme, but, uh, but a little picture I put up on Twitter of Phil Spencer spearing uh, Bobby Kotick, <laughs> and he's just sitting there with the title of Activision. 
he hasn't left yet though oh no 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 he hasn't left yet i know but um but you know that you know the fun there's got to be a big change man the fun thing about like being me, me and you is that a lot of people do uh, a lot of our work for us and just start sending us stuff in our inboxes and I, I i i i saw a couple of those 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 like uh scoops that you're talking about because people like tag me and stuff but everyone is just waiting to see if bobby kotek stays or not that's think, the big one i think he is in a is in a spot where he kind of probably has to go i mean you think i think so i mean i don't feel like microsoft buying them wants to buy that that issue they want activision i don't think they want codec i could be completely wrong because you know he's been you know in charge of that ship for a long time but um <clears throat> i just don't think you spend that kind of money to keep that reputation i don't know the, 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 if you if you look at um this is just me speculating no one told me anything but if you look at uh how they have dealt with bethesda i think we have a not a blueprint but we have a pattern of behavior in terms of microsoft and their acquisitions you know and with bethesda it's been a lot it, it looks like they've been bro that light more behind you is blind sorry so that light behind you is blinding flashing lights dan 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 can you wear set up the whole thing so that, that that's why it looks like this anyway <laughs> yeah i was saying i was saying um if you look at how microsoft has been a bit hands off with bethesda it's it's a reliable uh assumption to say that they're not going to be make like, like major sweeps in activision at least not in the short term if oh, if kotick leaves it's going to be because he wants to leave or someone uh like limits his decision making and then he gets frustrated then he leaves that's the only way kotick leaves he's not going to leave because phil set him down and said dude get the fuck out dude, you know i i i think in a way you're kind of wrong i think absolutely what? um now that xbox like <clears throat> so this deal is supposed to possibly, from what I heard, go through by like June of next year. Kind of like the yeah. Bethesda thing. Like it's going to need some time to process and, you know, it needs to go through the chambers uh, to make sure that, you know, everything is legal and not like over monopolizing and yada, yada, yada. All, all the stuff is, that we but... don't really understand, but, um, or at least I don't understand, but, um, but but with them going through all that stuff, I, I I really think Xbox, not just Phil Spencer, but Xbox as a whole, Microsoft does not want that smoke that Bobby Kodak constantly drags behind him. Like he's always like 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 if you were in playing Call of Duty, you'd be trying like like like, like that reticle is like right behind him constantly. And people are always aiming at that dude to to try to get him out for one reason or the next. And it's mostly just because, yo, bro, you got things going on and you ain't doing nothing about it. And if you look at Xbox, they're the opposite in the way of thinking right now. They got something going and they got to do something about it. They got to be on top of it. And like I said, I don't feel like you spend 70 million, uh, not million billion dollars I almost misspoke right there i don't think you spend 70 billion dollars to buy a problem it's not a problem if you're making a profit it's the reason why bobby kotick didn't leave 
um, before the acquisition. It's the reason Andrew Wilson is still where he is. It's the reason why even for years when people were dragging uh, what's his face. Oh God. I'm forgetting his name. The the dude from Bethesda. Uh, the, uh, Todd Howard. People were dragging Todd Howard for years and he never left. As long as the company is making bank, it's it's very hard to get rid of an executive that that contributes to that bank unless he's doing like what that that the executive at uh, at sony was doing the, the the one that was caught trying to have sex with a teenage boy it has to be like that bad if it's just oh he gets like a lot of money oh he sometimes offends people that's not enough for for, for these big companies i don't know man I don't know. I guess that's just where we got to agree to disagree right there because no, I feel like... Just, just no, you just put a tenor on the line and then when Bobby Kotick is still uh, the CEO, when this goes through next year, you know my PayPal, just call at your boy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I feel like that's fair. Let's put $10 on all that. Right. On that, we'll, all right. we'll see where that goes. But like, not only is this not, not only is this interesting just for the fact about all the news headlines and whatnot for for you know Kodak and let's say all the news headlines for the acquisition itself. Let's talk a little bit about the money that some of this stuff could bring in. I mean, every year Call of Duty is on top of the list or near the top of the list for profits for their game, especially in the ending years, I'm at the, the end of the year when they come out with the brand people new game. Bitch people bitch about it. They bitch about Call of Duty constantly. Oh, yeah, I'm one of those people because I'm not the biggest fan of what I've seen with Call of Duty lately. I'm not. And a lot of people, including one of a good a good buddy that I play with cons, uh, consistently, um, dead. He used to go by Deadpool, but but his name is Dead now on on Xbox. He um, he really didn't like the direction that Call of Duty has gone since Modern Warfare came out for the Series S and X and and. Um, and or actually, it came out for the Xbox One X, kind of around that time period. If you kind of remember that call that 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 Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it's the newer one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that. I mean, they haven't really captured that dopeness since then, um, especially with online play. So, I mean, and there's a lot of people that feel the same way. Like Modern Warfare was kind of the goat of this kind of generation kind of passing forward. Um, so I'm just kind of curious if they're going to shake anything up with that, if they're going to ever like decide, you know, let's give Call of Duty a year off and let's, you know, Ooh. go back to the drawing board a little bit and kind of recreate some things. Wouldn't that, uh, it, it'd be brave, but I feel like a lot of people would, actually enjoy that because then they'd be like man i'm actually getting a quality game yeah it kind of stinks that i gotta wait a year but maybe they actually might put some love into what they most recently came out with with dlc and stuff like that and keeping the game stable and then they'll actually give me something noteworthy in a year and a half or two you know what i mean uh I mean, obviously, they're going to come out probably at the same time as always, but. Call of Duty. Oh, my God. According to Statista, Call of Duty has generated at least 30 million. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Just. You're good. Fuck. You good to go? Yeah. Continue. Yeah. So I was saying, according to Statista, and this is crazy. Call of Duty since 2016 has generated at least 30 million every month. 
damn. Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Every month. Not every year. <laughs> every month. That's big money. So, and 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 we like one thing I didn't figure in with all these Call of Duties is Warzone. Exactly. And 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 uh, Call of Duty Mobile. But, uh, but I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Ooh, mobile is, is bigger than a lot of people think. Mobile is big because a lot of people play for money on there. Listen to this. Candy Crush generates has generated at least 700 million per year since 2015. And in 2020, they generated 857 million. 850, bruh. Almost a so billion. I'm just, and that's just one. Just one IP. That's one. Just, just one. So in, uh, I, I, the way I see it, I don't think Microsoft is buying this stuff to innovate much. No, of course Basically, not. You don't want to remake the wheel. Basically, what's going to happen is this acquisition will pay itself off in 10 years. And the rest is just profit. That's insane. Yeah. I do see one drawback. I don't know. Well, maybe it's not a drawback. It's just a challenge that could become an opportunity for Microsoft or for Xbox. Like, it's getting to the point where... Remember Netflix used to just have all the shows and then they had so many shows they had to start dividing it just by genre for you to search. I think Game Pass is going to abandon like the way they display their games on the on the on the console and on the PC. They I think they're going to start highlighting more the genres than the games themselves. Because I'm just looking dude we haven't even gone through half of the games that uh, Activision Blizzard is go is going to bring to to Xbox. Yeah. So it's already ridiculous the amount of games they have. I'm just thinking if they add all of these and their sequels, just just crash, just crash. We're talking about ten plus games. Diablo. That's another four games. Guitar Hero, you know this. There's like 15 Guitar Heroes. Uh, DJ here, okay, I don't even know nothing about Call of Duty. Can you, how many Call of Duties have they made up until now? I think at least 20, right? Yeah, and let's kind of, let's kind of segue into Game Pass right now. Let's can you not imagine. Can, can, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Like, can we talk about the backwards compatibility with some of these older IPs of Activision? Could you imagine? Like, I'm not saying that it'll happen because of licensing and stuff like that, but like, could you imagine? Putting in eel gnats in Spider Man <laughs> and playing and unlocking that game all over again. Oh my god. Tenchu is owned by Activision Blizzard. Do you know what Tenchu is? Yes. My good lord. Yeah, isn't that the stealth game? Tony Hawk's Pro Skate. Ah, <laughs> oh, no! Bruh. No! Ah, this is just, this is dumb. Bruh, that's what I'm saying. This is dumb. Oh, Prototype as well. The, the one about the guy with the super-powered uh, blood thingies that come out of his arms and shit. Oh, my goodness. Like, 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 it's really funny to see the beginning of this show. And now that you're reading off some of the games, you're just like, 
This is actually <laughs> affecting me now. This is kind of affecting me now. I'm starting, yeah, to, like, see, I'm friend, starting to see the light. Oh, it, my God. <laughs> like Call of Duty, whatever. I don't give a shit about Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I, I just don't care about Call of Duty. Crash, whatever. Play them all already. Good games, but it's not going to stress me out. Guitar Hero, whatever. You seen Tenchu in the back <laughs> painted. I'm like, Tenchu! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Can like, like, could you imagine bringing these oh. games backwards, come pat all over again, and saying, "Yo, like, you that's can gonna buy be this. Tough. You can buy this I don't digitally know. with emulation, or you could just use your old disc." But I don't know if Tenchu was on Xbox because I played Tenchu on PlayStation. I'm pretty old sure. Yeah, Tenchu. No, 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 I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Tenchu was on the OG Xbox. Okay. This is crazy. Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters. All right, all right. So maybe it is like a, a good acquisition for, <laughs> for, for gamers. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'll take that L. I'll take it. I'll it's take okay, it. It's, man. It's, it's okay. Well, 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 we, right we, we still, we still like have this. a lot. We still have a lot to to see and. We still have to see if this unfolds properly, because like I said earlier, um, it's slated for like June of 2023 for the acquisition to be finalized. So there's still a lot that could happen. You know, crazier things have, or actually, I don't know if crazier things have happened in gaming, but um, this, this is, is worse one of those moments <laughs> where like everyone's watching. This is worse than Bethesda, but not in terms of games, if you know what I mean. Because I think Bethesda has more like gaming value for the hardcore gamer, in my opinion. And Activision Blizzard has more gaming value for the casual gamer. So if 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 I had to pick, right, between the, the, the two publishers, I would I would pick um Bethesda. But in just in in terms of making money, yeah, Xbox is going to print cash with Activision Blizzard. Uh, they're going to have to mess it up royally. Yeah. For, for for this to go for this to go bad. Oh my God, Tenchu. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they could tap into those old IPs, while I mean, there's just so many dang directions this is going. We're talking about mobile, <laughs> PC. Damn. games new games like what's up true crime is on activision blizzard's books yep what the hell true crime was my joint oh it's such it's such a i'm sorry to say if they're if they're like Activision fans there, but it's such such it's such a brainy IP. I I never assumed that it, I don't remember the 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 Blizzard thing coming on when I played it. Wow. Yeah, just a second. All right. Yeah. But continue. So yeah, didn't expect to see true crime on here. Yeah, okay. It's not it's not that bad. It's not better than Bethesda in terms of games, in my opinion. But it's definitely better than what I thought it was before. Oh yeah. It's mega. Yeah. It is mega. So I'm very excited. But anyways, it looks I like just, the, oh, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It looks like there's gonna be tons of fun to be had by like hardcore gamers, not just the casuals that like to, you know, use their credit cards to achieve things on games so wow wow yeah it's a draw dropper absolutely but uh yeah i just wanted to pop on here real quick and just really? holla at you and see what, what where your feelings were and it was really really fun to see how <laughs> your opinion changed a little bit and just that when i saw the list <laughs> yeah the the the, the, the list kind of opened your eyes a little bit so um just a little so, bit just so fantastic. Just uh, th th thanks for hopping on quick, bruh. And um, this will be out. Next time. Yeah. Th 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 next time, say something. Have a shirt on or something. All right, man. 
<laughs> Let me out of my jammies. People will think I'm trying to flex or something. All right, man. <laughs> my bad. All right, man. But we'll talk to you guys later. Um, if you like this content or whatnot, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, but this is Ham Solo and Loke7. We're out. See you. Cheers.